Hello and good afternoon, evening, morning, everyone, wherever you are watching from. And thank you for tuning in right now. This is the North American West first Grand Blue Regionals tournament going on right now. We have made our way down to the final four players in this tournament. Uh, my name is Miguel. You might know me as Mike Ross. And I am joined with Ebonic Plague today. Thank you so much, Ebonic, for coming through. T.O. commentator, player extraordinaire, jack of all trades, knowledgeable master of Grand Blue. How are you doing? And tell us how you're feeling today. Oh, man, I'm doing well. You know, we get to talk about Grand Blue. Grand Blue getting the spotlight and everything like that with the Community League. We just saw Southeast Asia uh, a little bit ago, right? And now we're going to be getting into NA West. So this is my neck of the woods. So of course I'm I'm feeling it, you know. I, right. NA West is uh, well, I guess it's both of our neck of the woods, right? But <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well, and there it is. It looks like uh, <laughs> the camera just uh, kind of died on me right there. <laughs> uh, it's all good. It's all good. You know, I mean, hey, look, it's it, it's uh, it just happens, right? So, but one of the things that we do got going on is that, like you said, it is the top four, right? And so because of that, I think it's it's probably due that we take a look at who made it to this top four because we had about seven nine players in this bracket right here and we have narrowed it all the way down you guys can see the top eight bracket here and so up in the winners finals we have zombie versus out loud mm -hmm. and uh duix versus shuabu uh duix and shuabu we, we might talk a little bit about that but okay yeah du duix 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 <laughs> yes duix not anybody else duix <laughs> so yeah it, from your assessment i mean um you know i, I always kind of like to get a a little sneak preview just in case you know there might be people that are watching this right now and they have to hurry up and, and run out so they want to know who wins uh, in advance do you know have you seen the future is there anybody who you see right now that might have just a clear shot of of, of taking this tournament right now okay yeah i mean uh I, normally this is a pretty easy assessment for me uh mm -hmm. and i'm gonna be real with you and 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 a lot of people might uh might look at me funny because i got a little bit of bias you know zombie okay. moo is uh it has been the homie for a long long time I've okay. known this dude for forever, and uh, he's also considered to be probably NA's best uh, Grand Blue Fantasy versus player, right? Uh, okay. So normally I would say Zombie, easy money, right? Uh, yes. and, and then I would just walk away from that. However, Zombie has recently been playing uh, other characters mm -hmm. uh, in, in different brackets. So there was a bracket recently, uh, not only offline, but online, that he played uh, Belial in. And Zombie's okay. main character is Cagliostro, right? Uh, and in those in in one of the in the online bracket, Zombie actually ended up taking like fifth with that Belial, which Ooh. is you know completely unheard of and whatnot. But you know, winners finals right now, a little bit different. Uh, Allowed took a second in that same bracket, and Shuabu won that that right. So the only person to put Shuabu into losers right now was Zombie. So the way I'm I'm thinking this is gonna go to answer your question, mm -hmm. I'm thinking Zombie's gonna take it. Uh, okay. If if Zombie doesn't play Belial, maybe maybe Zombie will play Belial and so on. I don't know. Shuabu second, Allowed third, that kind of thing, right? Okay, so that's, that'll be, be my assessment. I have I have full faith in your in your research. Um, yeah, last time uh, we had um, uh, Shin kind of give us that that breakdown for what was going to happen and came out perfectly on top. Everything you say sounds about right. I do agree agree with it. Of course, with Duex, this is going to be the first time seeing Duex. see seeing Duex play. You know, mm -hmm. he's anything like another player in SoCal that's kind of familiar. But we'll see <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. You know, um, so SoCal players are kind of out here in this bracket, actually. Eh? Just, yeah. just saying. <laughs> yeah, again, this was also, I think we had a, you know, we're kind of expecting a 64 people a player bracket. That would have been a nice thing. And I think we ended up with almost 80 players in here. So, yeah, 79. Yeah, 79 players that actually filled the bracket. It's always great to see people come out in, in high numbers, especially to support Grand Blue, a game that didn't get a, um, a really, like, proper shine as it as it as it did in the past but now we're here and people are really showcasing what they've learned all this time up so we're seeing some of the, the best of the best right now and i think we're ready to get into the winner's finals match right now yeah so that winner's finals is going to be zombie versus allowed um so so pretty much everybody that you're going to see today uh of the top four are people that were just playing and grinding during mm -hmm. this online era of grand blue where, where we're talking about you know the game didn't exactly get it shine because a lot of people uh aren't exactly aware you know maybe, maybe they just kind of missed uh what was going on during the online era uh that we as the community used to have two or three online events uh at least maybe a day sometimes like <laughs> you know per week right yeah. it was it was pretty crazy but yeah so that winner's finals is what what we got next um and so zombie and allowed are two of the people who were were grinding so much so 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 much right 
And, uh, well, I mean, we can see it in Zombies Play things offline as well as in a lot of the online stuff if you go and check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I, again, I just gotta I just gotta wonder, is Zombie gonna be sticking with Cagliostro? Take the mm -hmm. whole th attempt to take the whole thing with as much strength as possible? Or are we gonna continue to see the, the extra characters as, as Zombie tries to learn more and more about the game? Oh, Cagliostro, there it is. There it is. <laughs> And on the other side, we got allowed on the Jita. Uh, at least it should be Jita, because that is Allowed's uh, main character there. Mm -hmm. So, gonna, gonna just the intro yeah. though. Hold on. That's yeah. right now. There it is. There it is. You're right. <laughs> yeah, we're not skipping intros here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I mean, if you if you all watched uh, Evo most recently, uh, mm -hmm. Jita was the character that uh, to take the whole thing right there. Yeah. Uh, and oh, Allowed is doing the tech. Okay, so if you don't know about Grand Blue, is there's different weapon skins, right? Mm -hmm. uh, some of the weapon skins actually change sound effects. So Allowed uses the frying pan, which changes the sound effect and makes it easier to hit confirm on counter hit. <laughs> that's amazing. I actually, that is that is so that's so smart. Already with one hit on Zombie, trying to use the teleport to uh, bait out names here, and smartly does so, right? And uh, with no fireball in Allowed's possession, just got it back. That allowed Zombie to move forward and uh, get the pressure to go down to the corner. Fireball again, slap dodge. Yeah, with the rush down right there. That's the, it's one of the new mechanics of the season as a uh, rush down. Uh, there's also back shift and overdrive, right? But rush down, yeah. it allows for people who don't have cooldowns to uh, to be able to convert using their meter, right? That was one right. of the big things a lot of people asked for was like, hey, can we get another way to use our meter? Well, yeah. rush down is a great way for it because uh, even if the opponent blocks and you use 50 meter, that's plus four on block, right? So you're just good. Right, and it takes, it's 50%, right? Is that right? Correct, yes, 50%. Ooh, but there Jeez. it is. There's that. There's that confirmed. Did not yeah. require any sort of uh, uh, special move, right? Was just rushed down. Fifty percent finished it off, and it's also special cancelable on on connection. So if if there was just a little bit more life on allowed, it was probably gonna die anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that constant pressure right there, that's the, that's the far 5H. That's one of the best, like, spacing tools uh, that Cagliostro has. It's really, really strong. Uh, but the thing is, Jita has a very similar uh, tool set, right? Where where Cagliostro is quite strong, uh, Jito is probably in her element. And so it can be kind of scary to play that game if, you're, if your uh, opponent is on point. And Allowed is trying to do that, but yeah, there it is. Far medium, into rush down, the plus frame, so now you've set up. <laughs> uh, it, looks, no, it just looks very frustrating to deal with all of him, like you're saying. Can you throw that out and get that confirmed goal? Yep, and there it is. The very last hit could not do anything else. If that did not kill, it would have been one more situation into a knockdown. But there it is. Zombie, game up. You were kidding. I was <laughs> <laughs> really about to kill that. Z Zombie is, is, is one of those uh, scientist type players, right? Like, really, really studies uh, super hard. And you're going to see that a lot, actually, in the top four, I think, uh, in terms of uh, the way the players uh, play. You'll see a lot of little micro decisions that are going to be very hard to call out, but will change a lot. <laughs> and there it is, using the portals as much as possible to make uh, a loud attempt to have to, like, kill them. And so that, yeah, tried for the wood punish sweep right there. But I've, Okay, full Rekka series into the DP. Attempted to go for the extension, but it's just a little bit too low to the ground, it looks like. And yeah, it's good, good patience from Zombie right there. Not flinching at any of the loud's pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so even still, just playing it very safe. No risks at all. Taking time to breathe. Yeah, when you're at this life, life, uh, total right for the both of them you're not exactly losing like you're sure you have a slightly less uh less life than your opponent but you don't need to press too many buttons right and now you put your opponent in this check situation where they're, they're probably scared but allowed you can see the matchup knowledge not pressing buttons just like you're talking about the zombie you know oh but there it is on the clash confirmed Man, uh, Kagliostro has one of the best anti-zombie tools too. So like when that fireball comes out from the loud, it has to be it has to be placed super super well, or you have to be looking at the cooldowns of zombies to make sure that that spike does not come out. That spike right like there, that yeah. Right there, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The funniest part is that move is called calculated, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> and then the timeout. That's gonna finish it off. Oh, yeah. it is very rare you see timeouts yeah. in this game. But if the opponent is somebody who is very patient versus, uh, you know, a character like Cagliostro in particular, mm -hmm. timeouts are going to just start happening, right? Yeah. Ooh, max distance got the wall bounce. Yeah, that's going to be great for allowed. That's true. Because that yeah, meter build. I've never seen like both players just 
you know, being complacent to just not press anything for such a long time. I totally forgot that a timeout was even possible here. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where you don't want to give an inch to the opponent because uh, more than a mile gets taken, right? It's yep. uh, it, it can be pretty bad on a counter hit situation, for sure, especially up against the corner. Oh, but well especially said. if you can make a corner here. Oh, man. That is frustrating. <laughs> that is one of Kagliostro's best positions. If the portal is out, uh, a loud can no longer safely use uh, the far medium, which is normally like incredible spacing tool, or mm -hmm. you know, take take your turn back type tool, right? Yeah. Uh, but there it is. Nice. Yeah, the, the portal was just outside of the range. Get the full conversion here. The rock may be leveled up, but you got a lot. The overdrive comes nice. out. Yeah, that's gonna push away. Now the overdrive is gonna make it so that zombie can no longer be chipped out, and now the normals are gonna do chip damage as well. So it's a chip kill could actually be possible for zombie on yeah. normals alone. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's doing a lot. Yeah, oh. Chip Guts is gone. You oh, try to jump out, gets away. It's gonna have to spot dodge. Yeah, the, the rock over there is, is gonna be putting in a lot of work, honestly. Especially for the uh, oh, yeah. spot dodge just a little bit too early, and yeah. it was forced to block it. <laughs> I believe, yeah, and that's it. So Zombie's gonna take that one over aloud. Too much pressure to deal with. You can tell it just gets super frustrating. You're you're obviously scared to death. You don't want to run into anything. Like you said, hit the early spot dodge. Nah. Zombie yields again, a, a player that you called to, to take it is going to advance into Grand Finals. Mm -hmm. uh, such a struggle, but it's not over. Now it allows going to be sitting in losers there. Um, yeah. Yeah, waiting for the winner of Duex. Duex, that's <laughs> right. Duex. Yes, no one else. Yeah, Duex. that's right. Nobody else. No, that's it. We, we, <laughs> we can read. Yeah, we, we see the names. <laughs> this is uh, Shuabu. Again, another uh, yeah, all strong players here. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. This is also a Cali battle, too. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you got the, the regional pride on the line mm -hmm. on top of that. Uh, and this is uh, this is one of those things where uh, Shubu was, you know, recently talking about... I mean, you said it before we started, uh, recently yeah. talking about kind of slowing down on the game a little bit. But mm -hmm. uh, clearly not the case. Entered an online bracket, what, last week? Entered this That's one right. this week? That's like, right. <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't deny your roots. I understand. I get it. <laughs> you know, tell you, 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 you might want to slow down, but you can't help it if your hands are nice. So... <laughs> Yeah, let's see. I, I'm very looking very forward to this. See if uh, Shuabu, you know, is gonna have any troubles with this uh, newfound SoCal player Duex. Duex, completely new. Nobody's ever <laughs> heard of Duex new. before. Completely new. Completely new player here. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any? Uh, who, which characters that you think they might play? Yeah, Shuabu is, is uh, most assuredly gonna play six. Uh, mm -hmm. Seox on the character select screen. If you you know want to go by what it's spelled like nice um yeah and uh duex is going to be playing uh ul I, <laughs> this is a guess for, right <laughs> this is a no, guess no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry sorry it's a, it's a guess duex is i'm guessing going to play ul <laughs> sorry uh, that's too funny uh which is which is really cool because you know the top four is all completely different characters depending on uh if one of these players uh decides to switch to a secondary mm -hmm. uh because you know shubu is somebody that we saw um prior to Six's release was a Sorez player, right? Um, Sorez is uh, a character that you really need to be like 100% on point. So yeah. it can be kind of difficult in high stress situations to play that character over Six, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I don't play like completely switched over to Six. Yeah. Oh, on oh okay. So Shubu is playing the Uno. <laughs> so, so, so Andre is uh, another one of uh, the what are called the Eternals and it's okay. part of like six, Six's faction. So I gotcha. guess, it, you know, th thematically it's cool that he's, uh, he's playing the character that's with but this character i feel like uh in this version of the game is like way slept on right uh because because before on release this character was a bit lackluster i'm not gonna lie he wasn't he wasn't doing a whole lot uh but he's gotten changes and those changes work with the way the game uh plays very very well now he is incredible at whip punishing uh he has parries right so you have to respect his wake up game just etc etc yeah you answered everything i was just about to ask you how <laughs> you know, how, what were the changes, you know, and how they how they affected them? But uh, yeah, well, so I mean, I, that looking out for. It's not even just character specific changes, right? It's stuff like this: overdrive, system mechanic changes, right? Yeah. So now uh, Andre has. Oh well, I mean, you know, that was a call out on an Andre specific situation with the sky uh, the skybound art on the 5L. So it did start with the 5L, so it's gonna be a little less damage. Yeah, it didn't kill. It. Just barely didn't kill. In fact. <laughs> nice. Oh. But, okay. Oh, good. Still surviving off the text. There you go. Yeah, and I mean, chip cuts is gone, right? So now, so now, uh, Shubu can be chipped out with, with yeah. pretty much any. Oh, it didn't chip out. So chip cuts wasn't gone. 
So Duex thought the exact same thing I did. Oh, okay, Chipmunk yeah, was gone. I think, uh, yeah, Duex got to mute the commentary. He said, oh, Fubu can be chipped out. Here we go. No. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Yeah. It's all me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clearly, you know, if uh, Duex had been... You know, been around the scene longer and playing, they would know to mute the commentary and just play for oh, the you're feeling, right. you know? But... You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we oh, won't hear man. the end of it from them afterwards, I know. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, you know, I I'm cool with taking that. But yeah, again, another really strong uh, knowledge of what uh, Andre can do, right? Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll notice there's been several spot dodges from 2X that have been happening in, in particular uh, spaces. Mm -hmm. And now Shubu is trying to combat those because he's gotten basically punished for attempting to do certain things as a result of that. Yeah. Well, I like this. I like this spacing right here. Yeah. Right, actually got a lot of damage. Yeah, this character is incredible at the spacing game. Uh, there's there's pretty much nobody who's going to outspace mm -hmm. uh, Andre. Oh, and another oh, call out on the parry right there from Duex. Super Skybound art, and again, I wow, Whoa. that was a lot of damage. <laughs> I, I must have misread the starter. I must have misread the starter because uh, I thought it was a 5L starter, but I think it was actually a, a 5H counter hit. I could have, I guess I was just wrong. Because with the 5H counter hit, that was definitely going to do enough damage. But the ants here right there from Shuabu. That was like, what, the first jump, I want to say? Yeah. <laughs> and already yeah. called out. Either way, that did too much damage <laughs> before. <laughs> Alright. Oh, nice. Trying to use the dive kick to get away because that that last situation right was how um, Duex got hit here. So try to use the dive kick and got a hit for it. And now just running the pressure, the stagger. Yeah. Negative. Yeah, but oh. goes for the overdrive I like that. Yeah, because you know your opponent's gonna try to take the turn back, right? Yeah. Uh, nice. Oh, well, man. What spacing? Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Took a slight walk back before that too. It's like, nah, I think I know what you're gonna do. That was a good. That was a good call out. Yeah, I agree. No, that, that was that was beautiful spacing for Shubu right now. The, the Andre is putting in so much work. Yeah. I mean, Shubu, Shubu, much like Zombie, is somebody who plays uh, who, who plays a lot of characters for the purpose of study, right? So you know how every character works. Eventually, you just kind of find your secondary that way, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, and truly, I, you know, I think you, in order to be the best in your craft, you should know how each and every character plays. You gotta uh -oh. be prepared for everything. Uh, like the, set up, but uses the Dragon Punch to get out. Nice. And there's the 5H, yeah. I mean, you know, we talk about with Punish from Andre, but that's one of the best with Punish tools in the game from uh, UL is that 5H. It, it moves forward just like Andre's does. You know, I mean, you can see that right there. But the thing is, Shuvu with the Skybound Art on can do that with impunity because, you know, the, the, the little spears are just saving if anything goes wrong. Yeah. Oh, the side switch. Do it to the corner there. Plus frames there. Yeah, I was looking for the parry, so waited. Because, you know, it was... I was always impressed by the long succession of block strings. You know, not tempted to press a button at all. I always like to see that. Good yeah. The, the, the block strings are... Oh, the overdrive, that's punishable. Oh, but you didn't do the right. Again? Okay, well, not gonna matter. <laughs> Again? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't get the right punish because I, I think Shubu forgot had just used the, the spear staff uh, on EX too, so the cooldown is much, much longer. So probably wanted to get the slide uh, to whip punish the overdrive because the, for, for all of overdrive's strengths, one of its big weaknesses is that it has whip recovery, right? And it is a good enough amount that it, it matters. And you're in counter hit state too. Yeah. Overdrive meaty setup. Yeah, that, that is guaranteed off the bat. Nice. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure that's just straight death. Yeah, <laughs> tried to take the turn, but Shuabu was not having it. Sending Duex out of the tournament. Yeah, that was Play that was a yeah. real strong, uh, real strong adaptation uh, in regards to uh, Shuabu recognizing that Duex was trying to find the counters. Yeah. Uh, or at least look for the parries. Excuse me. Um, and so because of that. Uh, you know, Shubu would just, just block a, a plus on block move and then not parry. And yeah. then would just be like, well, now Duex never knows when parry's coming. And the parry's hit, I, I want to say like nine out of ten times, right? Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> yeah, it was a, whoops, sorry, one second. No, you're good. Yeah, yeah, So, I mean, you know, we can check that right now. So, Zombie is still waiting in Grand Finals, of course. Uh, the Lunar Finals is going to be allowed versus Shubu. Uh, so we could continue to see the Andre. I just remembered, though, I did see Shuabu talking about Andre uh, prior to this, so I guess I should have guessed that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, I, I guess I just wasn't paying enough attention. It's okay. <laughs>
Well, we're going to see what's going to happen very soon. We're going to have Allowed versus Shuabu next in Losers Finals. And winner of that will be facing Zombie. So Zombie's going to be watching very closely uh, to see who his potential opponent uh, might be. And before we get to that, guys, we're going to take a quick five-minute break. And we will be back very soon. Sit tight.
All right, and we're back right now after that short break. Gave the players, gave ourselves time to understand what is about to happen. Take a breather because we know it's about to get super intense. We are down to the final three players here in this tournament. Uh, Ebonic Plague, any predictions what's going to happen next in this loser's bracket match? Yeah, I mean, these these are the, these are the final three matches that uh, are, are going to be real hard uh, for just about everybody in, in, in process, right? Because I know Allowed really wants to get that run back from Zombie, right? So this is like, this is Shin Allowed versus uh, Shuabu for sure. Because uh, they both want the run back, right? Uh, Shuabu actually went down to lose his bracket only to Zombie right now. And so uh, the the this is going to be, in my personal opinion, if Shuabu goes to six, uh, I would say that uh, Shuabu is going to be violent. Right, yeah. straight violence. Uh, whereas, whereas like uh, allowed would be playing the the spacing game as much as possible because you never want six to get in. However, since we've been seeing the Onray, I'm gonna specifically note that we have we have had a similar situation when it was allowed versus Zombie, where they're both trying to play at that far medium range for the character of Jita and try to play around that. If you can kind of play around that far medium from Jita, you're, you're gonna have a lot more success. The the far medium, the far H, etc. Right, a lot, lot, lot more success in those in those spots. And because of that, um, Andre is a great spacing play, uh, character, right? If if one of those buttons whip, Andre is is the whip punish king. He is going to stop that right in his tracks. <laughs> yeah, definitely saw that earlier. You know, the the spacing uh, from Shubu was immaculate. So I can't wait to see what he's what uh, you know what uh, Shubu is going to bring to the table. But I do love the fact that you mentioned we're about to see Shin Loud, <laughs> whatever. Uh, the, Shin Loud, yeah. yeah Shin, I love that because yeah, it's true. You got, you got sent to losers, now you're hungry, now you just see somebody standing in your way. But again, this is going to be from both players, because both want to get that chance to get that run back, come out first place, you're so close to the finish line. And both players are going to be salivating for the mouse, so we're about to jump right into it right now. I think both players are waiting, so let's take a look and see who is going to take it in advance to the grand finals versus Zombie. Yeah, and I mean, it's not just trying to get that run back here mm -hmm. in this matchup. It is also because this is the first NA West Community League event, right? That's right. This is this is a lot of prestige on the line, in my personal opinion. I mean, there's right. more than just prestige for this for this league. For you sure. know, we there's 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 prizes as well. So mm -hmm. if anybody's looking for that kind of stuff, that's uh, this is this is where you pull out all the stops. There's there's yeah. no more holding anything back. <laughs> that's exactly right. You know, and you, you know, you, people might tend to forget that it's like you are playing for something on the line. There's prize money involved. Um, but like, I do agree, yeah, of course there is prestige, and at the end of the day, no matter what, remove everything, nobody wants to lose. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, for so sure. So people are going to be giving it their all. And I think, uh, yeah, I think the players are ready. So it looks like we uh, should be getting into this yeah. match here. So yeah, this is losers finals again. Uh, I mean, just like you were talking about, uh, this is what we're looking for, that spacing game. If it's going to be Onre or, uh, you know, Six, that could, uh, that could dictate what's what is or how shuabu plays i should say and yeah. that's also of course going to end up changing you know how allowed plays right because if you're playing versus on ray as cheetah you're not trying to whiff anything your spacing has to be 100 mm -hmm. um obviously versus six you, you can't do that as well because he has the fastest run speed in the game he's got a vega wall dive you okay. know stuff Ooh, like that right I like that so <laughs> technical term <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah technical term sure. okay so it is six all right so we, we are running into six okay so so this is the character with uh, what I'm gonna call mm -hmm. probably the most hellacious presser this game has. Okay. Because this, this game isn't like this game isn't like high low left right crazy mix up right. Right. This game is this game is a lot of frame trap. Uh, you know, you know, catching your opponent's timing and whatnot. Right. But oh, that's a punish right there on the Rekka. Tried to go for the frame trap Rekka, and it looks like Shubu was ready for it from the get. And, oh, oh no! no. <laughs> that's an input error. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely wasn't a calculated. Oh, okay, but that one was. <laughs> yeah, that DP right through the fireball. That that fireball is really nasty, right? That that, that provides a lot of press frames to six, mm -hmm. and he's already very scary when he's in your face, right? So you definitely don't want that to happen. And the funny part about six too is he has a parry just like Andre, right? So Chubu is uh, is very well versed in using these parries. Mm -hmm. Oh, again! Nice again. <laughs> this is great reactions. Yeah, and I mean, super good knowledge of what the block string might be, right? Just to have that reaction at the ready, because that's what it is. Your reaction time gets better if you're looking for that exact option. And so, allowed, I mean, you know, doing that young man stuff. Ooh, not a full confirm, but that's okay. So, like, yeah, you're saying Six has a lot of, like, 
crazy mobility and uh, ability to boost the wall. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there should come. Yeah. Just get the full thing. Yeah. Uh, a lot of mobility, a lot of options. You, you know, your technical term with the Vega Wall Dive. What would you say uh, <laughs> Jita's advantages are, if any, uh, you know, to kind of fend off against six? Yeah, I mean, luckily we actually saw an example of it right there, right? Um, Jita has these far reaching buttons, and so when six attempts to do anything like that, um, Jita can actually just kind of, you know, sweep, jump medium to catch the air to air, uh, far heavy, etc., etc. Or, you know, there's the dragon punch right there, right? Yeah. And, and there's the whip punish tool again. You're seeing all of just the strongest ways that Jita can deal with what could be offensive pressure, mm -hmm. trying to stop it before it even happens. Yeah, even now, like, just, just constantly pressure. I love it. Yeah, and even tried it right there, right? Did the neutral jump to expect any sort of either wall dive or fireball. It just happened to be the wrong timing. That's all it was. His timing was just off by a slight bit. Oh, it Ooh. caught the Wrecker right there with the sweep. Believe in victory. <laughs> immediate, that was the fastest rematch yeah. I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> Shuabu said, no, 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 no. That ain't gonna fly. <laughs> Buttons were getting smashed. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so so right there, what you did notice was uh, that the, the guard strings have changed from Shubu. That guard string, that was not something that uh, Shubu had gone to earlier. So now Aloud is going to have to start reacting to a different set of guard strings. And there it is. Yeah, you get hit by the universal overhead, which is airborne. So if you try to throw a tech there, you get bodied by one of the best starters in the game. Nice. Just go for the DP. Bust it. Get Shubu as far away as possible. Oh, can do the fake dive, huh? Yeah, you can you can hold it down and it fakes a dive. Yeah, but uh, in that situation, uh, that was just one of those Shuabu was already going to decide to do it. Because yeah. Aloud actually tried to whip punch the dive, and if uh, if Shuabu didn't let it rock, it actually would have counter hit for for a full conversion. But oh, what timing! Jesus. Yeah, I mean, Aloud has been pretty on point with um, calling out those dives too. Yeah, pretty much any movement option, and all these whip punish too on top of that. That's why you're seeing so much damage come out. Super Skybound Art. This is huge. Animation. My name is Bahamut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just oh. barely alive! The mask is broke, though. So Ooh. Overdrive comes out, so it's gonna be a force block. There from, yeah, but I love that Shubu remained patient, right? You stay mm -hmm. vigilant for that because... <laughs> Excuse me?! <laughs> Oh, I was man. just talking about the patience, and they were just like, no, no yeah. more! <laughs> yeah, nobody pressed a button. And that's, you know, a little confession. That's what I love to see more than anything. Close range, nobody's pressing a button. We're just staring at each other. You do it first. This is my confession. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> oh, and there it is. There's the parry. You finally see it. So the last couple of times, uh, Shuabu has tried to take the plus frames or use the, uh, the backwards uh, dash after the Rekka, right? Because cause, uh, Six has multiple options there. And so uh, what Alao will do is he tries to cover multiple options mm -hmm. and uh, Shubu recognized that. So was just like, okay, what I'll do is I'll parry right after. And now it's afforded the, the corner carry here to Shubu because of that. There's the delay tech, but the DP this time not stand teching. Yes, swinging. Ooh, okay. So that's another adaptation from what happened in the previous yep. round. So, uh, Aloud was catching a lot of sweeps on anything that Shubu was trying to do. Mm -hmm. So, Shubu has stopped going towards it. Yeah, and there it is again. We're looking for that sweep one yep. more time. <laughs> like, no, I'm not but, giving it to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. And so, it was using a move that low crushes and, and uh, trying to go for the parry. But now, Aloud has changed right back and is going for jumps because Shubu is no longer looking for jumps. Oh. Oh, oh. yeah. Was that a if that missed input, you think? Uh, that could have been Dragon Punch, uh, because that was a 5-H, right? So what that tells me is that could have been EX Dragon Punch, uh, which would have gone right through the Fireball. We saw that in the very first game, right? Yep. Um, and if it wasn't, that was an attempt at getting the, the highest damage uh, anti-air. Gotcha. So. Yeah, well, Shuabu, clearly there was some adaptation calling for the quick uh, rematch. And now look at this, it's just constant, constant pressure, not letting a lot of breathe. Yeah, and I gotta, I gotta call out. That, that adaptation has to be the guard strings, uh, because Aloud is no longer like figuring out what to do defensively. One of the things we saw in the first game was that defensive uh, choices from Aloud were just so good. But now Aloud is just unable to figure out what to do, trying to spot yeah. dodge basically with like haste. Because mm -hmm. I mean, they're just so afraid at this point, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah they stay away from me by any means necessary. And that's what we were talking about previously, is uh, Six, when oh, he gets in your face, oh. you were just terrified because he can do- <gasps> Oh! Dropped it! That's an unfortunate drop right there. 
But that's gonna give Aloud a chance, and there's that sweep. This was the starter for Aloud several other times. And then, yeah, using that safe jab on Wake Up as much as possible, because you know the parry's no longer there, right? So now you're trying to make sure that you hit any of the Wake Up buttons. There's the whip punish, though! Okay, this should be the extension off this. Yep, got it. Oh, no, nice! Yeah, but no whip punish, just barely didn't time it well enough. Hard, but there's the, is that gonna whiff? That's gonna be a full yeah. conversion! This should be a wall bounce into death! <gasps> no, drop! <laughs> it's the worst that, possible position right now for allowed. Yeah, that's gonna be real scary right now. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you can't whip anything because, I mean... Oh, oh but the fireball <laughs> tried to go for the parry! Yeah. So, so because it's EX fireball, uh, I think you can only uh, do the, the dash follow-up to get away from the rest of the hits. If you try to do anything else, the rest of the hits will connect on you, uh, is how I believe it works. That's one of those, like, really weird interactions that you have to kind of, like, lap out to truly know. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, trying to catch the lock back on that. Oh, no. Not catching the guard string on Wake Up. You know, I mean, sometimes if your opponent's not willing to meet you, you're probably in. That's an excellent reaction. Wow. Just beautiful. <laughs> Just beautiful. Yeah. And that's the kind of thing that you have to be privy to if your opponent has a 100 bar and you're playing six trying to wall dive, right? That was uh, that was actually ridiculous. You saw it. You saw the patience there. You saw Aloud just waiting. And Shubu just gave, gave uh, Aloud everything that they wanted. Oh. Mm -hmm, yeah, and I mean, previously you were asking about, uh, you know, what 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 is Jita's leg up mm -hmm. on uh, on what Six is gonna do, and I mean, you saw what is basically either like textbook or masterclass of what yeah. you would want to see uh, Six do versus that, right? Yeah. And that was just straight up you were neutral jumping in the spots that uh, Six was cornered so that you could catch a wall dive or the fireball, right? And if it was just specifically uh, mid-screen and the jumps were happening, you were only looking for fireball because if you neutral jump in that situation, the spacing that Aloud was doing, you're also going to catch a regular jump. You're not just going right. to be, like, it, it catches both and it's pretty easy. You don't have to really do a whole lot for it. Um, and then on top of that, you know, you're, you're looking at, uh, you're also looking at um, standing, being too far away from, from neutral jump, to catch wall dive as well we saw the far five h's to catch the way down we saw i mean hey you know the game winning move was using the skybound art to catch the wall dive right mm -hmm. so i again i just gotta say that was like a master class in game one and three um and i i i couldn't be happier to be wrong about my prediction because of just how well allowed like showed me up right like yeah <laughs> i mean it, you know to be fair like you it was it was just like an adaptation versus adaptation versus the finale there it was really uh, amazing to kind of see both players uh adapt to each other's styles but in the end yeah allowed that that patience there at the end was absolutely ridiculous to watch yeah i i mean this that's just one of those situations where you set up the opponent to hang themselves multiple mm -hmm. times and you have the answer ready mm -hmm. and that was that was what allowed it and good lord did it pay off uh in spades and now hey in grand finals versus zombie gonna be looking at this run back right here so uh, I do believe that this means the uh, the rules are going to change here for the set count. That's and right. it should be three out of five here mm -hmm. for uh, Grand Finals. You know, I also think it's kind of, again, you, this is why, you know, I really appreciate your knowledge and insight, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, you did, you called it every step of the way. You even said that uh, we were going to see Shin allowed. And, uh, <laughs> you know, with uh, Shuabu getting that... Um, you know, bringing the pressure to allow. We saw we saw the total change up in gameplay, and mm -hmm. uh, now you know foaming at the mouth is about to get that run back with Zombie, and we're gonna see you know exactly how this is gonna play out. Granted, this will be uh, three out of five. All the grand finals matches in the Grand Blue um, Fantasy versus League will be three out of five. Pardon me. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah, will be no three problem, out of no five. Problem. Yeah, you know, there's <laughs> just so much going on. Yeah, no, and, I, I uh, get you. Yeah, and Allowed is going to have to try to win, uh, you know, two sets here as Zombie is sitting comfortably in the winner side of the Grand Finals matchup. Um, yeah, so anything, anything can happen, but Allowed's got it. Definitely has an uphill battle. Yeah, I mean, I, I do got to note exactly what you said, right? Zombie mm -hmm. is sitting comfortably, and there's a reason mm -hmm. that's comfortable, right? Is mm -hmm. uh, Grand final situation when you come from the winner side yeah. is quite an advantage. Right, mm -hmm. uh, you know, your opponent has to beat you twice, 
yeah. to to be able to do it because you know if let's let's say you're new to tournaments right you know maybe maybe this is one of the first times you like the grand blue ip but you never really watch grand blue fantasy versus okay right so one of the one of the things is uh that when when everybody plays in the tournament they get two chances right which is the yeah. winner's bracket the loser's bracket and so this is even applicable once you get to grand finals and you get the run back versus the person who was at the top side mm -hmm. so you beat them once they still get their second chance so that's yeah. why it is a huge advantage to get there without losing uh, a daunting task, don't get me wrong, to get to Grand Finals on winner's side, because okay. you're you're facing uh, the best of the best at all times. Right. But, uh, <laughs> good lord, are you rewarded. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you can ask for, so... We're gonna see what's gonna happen very soon. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think right now what we're doing on is we're getting this, you know, redecorating the stage right now, getting a new room uh -huh. set up. Um make sure that both players actually this gives them time to cool off when you're at this point and you are zombie you've watched yeah. aloud uh what are you thinking right now what do you what is going through your head to prepare yourself for this grand finals matchup yeah you know i would specifically note exactly what we saw versus shuabu right and mm -hmm. that is the uh the ability for allowed to set up a situation for the opponent to be in the exact spacing that allowed can cover the most options possible right so now uh now now zombie is going to be trying to negate as much of that as possible there, there's just going to be some situations you can't get out of it's just going to happen that's fighting games right yeah, yeah. and so because of that um it, as long as you're playing your neutral at a proper point just like in the winner's final set where the far heavy the far medium are less applicable for Jita to use against you mm -hmm. then she can no longer hit these neutral jumps that you're looking for right she can no longer hit these sweeps that are just close enough because uh, a lot of that was anti-6 kind yeah. of pressure um and that's not as applicable versus Cagliostro however it's still incredibly strong just in the grand scheme of Grand Blue because I mean this is one of those fighting games where the 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 beginning of your match versus an opponent is very slow and then it starts to explode and to roll downhill and get bigger for you Mm -hmm. um and so that's 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 the thing that you have to avoid is allowing shin allowed to uh to yeah. find that that spacing <laughs> yes. uh and and just negate all of your options mm -hmm. and what's what's going to come into play is you're going to see that spear that comes up from the ground to mm -hmm. make sure that allowed can't just comfortably set up in those moments and do the exact same thing right that's right so yeah i think uh, what zombie's gonna have to do is you know dig deep and hold up a mirror and show Shin aloud what kind of monster they've turned themselves into and remind them of who the calm, peaceful person they once were and <laughs> use that as your advantage. You know, they're gonna have to dig deep here. Um, I can't wait to see, you know, if Shin aloud comes out swinging. <laughs> I don't even want to keep calling him <laughs> Shin aloud. I love it. This is the name that stuck. I like that. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, like, look, I, the, the way I saw, like, Allowed, uh, you know, go, go through that, that Winner's Finals, it just it just spoke to me to call him Shin Aloud at that point, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I was just like, you know what? You, you don't just run into this kind of situation and not <laughs> think about what had happened and try to adapt, right? And mm -hmm. that's what's going to come up in this Winner's, or excuse me, Grand Finals, mm -hmm. is, I mean, if, if you play exactly the same way as in the Winner's Finals, Zombie's going to be picking up on that, right? Yeah. Because that, that was a very, very strong showing. Yeah, from zombie yeah. in that winners finals that that yeah. was one of those those situations where you're like you know that's just on me i gotta i gotta i gotta change this up because zombie is just doing the exact right thing that he should do which is uh just exploit what you're trying to to accomplish and right. if if it has enough exploitable weaknesses mm -hmm. then you know maybe you have to rethink that right so yeah yeah, yeah. Think... so go ahead yeah, so yeah just uh, yeah just for the people that are watching right now we are going to be beginning the match very soon Still getting everything set up right now, giving both players time to, you know, check their buttons, check their mindsets, make sure that they're ready for this, because this is, there's a lot on the line here. You know, this is the first North American West uh, regional finals uh, tournament that we're running. There is prizing involved. There's just so much at stake. Got to make sure that everything is right and ready. It's going to be yeah. a madhouse. I can't wait. Just need a few more minutes here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like the, the the one thing that we you know we do not want to do is make it so that the the players have a situation where something could have changed because of a like an accident, right? So we yeah. we just make entirely sure that everything yeah. is good, everything yeah. is golden, and then we get them in there, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Which it, it does look like we uh, we do have everything good and golden. So I think they're going to be starting when the players are uh, fully ready, uh, you know. And so I mean, hey, look, everybody in the chat, everybody watching at home, 
-hmm. Get ready because I think this is going to be some real good grand final action. <laughs> <laughs> you got to steal yourself, Mike. That's steal right. yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> you exactly. You right. <laughs> oh man. Hey, is I am I still frozen in there? Uh yeah, unfortunately. But oh man, come on, hold yeah. on. Hey, it'd be like you know, it's all yeah, good. Yes, I, I promise you. Right. See, the it's, thing it's is, good the thing is, end. Mike. I the thing know. is, yeah, it's good on my end. <laughs> you know, it's perfect. It's all y'all's problem, you know. The, the thing is, Mike, you're you're good at all angles. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So you you don't have to worry about that, right? You know? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Know, and you know yeah. what else is good at all angles is Grand Blue Fantasy. This Grand Finals Ooh. coming in all Long angles. Time. Zombie move versus allowed Grand Finals. So allowed is gonna have to get two sets right here, mm -hmm. three out of five versus right. Zombie, to take the tournament. Believe in victory. Battle. I'm scared of zombie right now. <laughs> uh, most people are. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, <laughs> zombie is easily the most studied and strongest player that. Uh, that I mean, okay. So look, mm -hmm. there there are players that can fight zombie. That has happened mm -hmm. before. That's, I'm not gonna say he wins every tournament he walks into. Don't get me okay. wrong. Gotcha. Um, but but he is a very scary opponent for sure. Yeah. From what I've seen, it just seems like you know it's so much pressure. Oh my gosh. But you know, I guess Gita does kind of have that advantage. Is if she can get that that uh, little bit of that corner game, right? she hits like a truck. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And this is one of those matchups that's actually really good for Gita. Uh, you know, a lot of people uh, in North America consider uh, Kagliostro to have a, a pretty strong matchup spread, spread. Mm -hmm. but uh, characters that are really strong at the uh, at the whip punish and spacing game uh, mm -hmm. can kind of give her problems. And so this this is one of those matchups that I feel like is I'm not gonna say like is in Gita's favor completely, but uh -huh. it is definitely much closer than some other characters that wow. can be Okay. Right. <laughs> it's it's crazy you would say that. I mean, you know, obviously this is more credit to the player. I'm looking at this match like this just seems like a nightmare for Gita, but like, I guess again that's just credit to how Zombie, you know, uh, plays and approaches it. This, you know, this is just like specifically my thoughts on it, right? Like mm -hmm. I, I could just be dead wrong. I mean, I you know I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat sure it. Like, it's, <laughs> but uh, th these are my thoughts because I I can't ever count Gita out in mm -hmm. under any circumstance. I feel like this character just. She does so much in so many avenues that she can she can just come back, right? Oh, but you know, pops jump out right there, changing the guard string up, making things a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, to, to, to your credit, you have been right about everything thus far, so no reason to count you out right now. I trust you. I trust your opinion. <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm just saying, I'm fine with being incorrect, and, and gotcha. you know, it, it just means I gotta learn a little bit more, you know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, so this is the situation that tells you how well, or how good you are at fighting Kagli Ocean, right? Um, when she has these two portals either above you or on the ground, yeah. what you do determines what Zombie is then going to do for the rest of the matchup. Because it tells you, it tells Zombie if you know what you're supposed to do versus this character or not. Yeah. And that's, that's the situation right there. Zombie was able to catch pretty much all grounded options that were going to be used defensively and allowed could not move because they're yeah. like oh well you know you're you're worried so much about these portals on the ground that you're you're trying to both hit me and negate them at the same time i'm not gonna let that fly right. oh that's punish yep yeah. next to the wall oh that's great yes ex reka is is such a far moving tool like it, the corner carry on it is quite ridiculous <laughs> i've noticed too yeah every time uh, Allow gets, you know, the pressure going against Zombie, gets the corner pressure. Uh, zombie always has no problem just waking up blocking, never getting caught mashing on wake up or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Such good patience, I love that. I love to see those kind of things. Okay, okay, so on wake up right here, tried to catch a, so, 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 Allowed actually just did an OS where you catch a uh, back shift, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, if you play, you know, another game, there's, there's another similar mechanic. But uh, uh, it didn't end up working out because of overdrive, right? <laughs> nice. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Over, over, over. Oh, the sweep cut the run up. Oh, the, no, excuse me, that was 2M. I couldn't see because the portal was like obscuring the vision. <laughs> I thought it was sweep. <laughs> yeah, the loud has his work cut out for him. Ah, there it is. That's what we were seeing versus Shuabu is those air to airs, and yep. they're starting to come back. And that was in attempts to hopefully cover also a teleport from uh, Kag, because Kagliosha, she can teleport uh, in the air as well as the ground, right? So mm -hmm. she can, you know, she can mess up your anti-air timings by doing so. Mm -hmm. So Allowed attempted to get both things, but now, I mean, Zombie with the corner pressure here. He's got a portal set up, got two of them set up. <laughs> oh, but nice. a missed throw! Nice. Comes pressure. We're gonna wake up more blocking. Yep. Never. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, just all the way to the corner. 
and I mean, that was an attempt at a frame trap from allowed, and then, yeah, what routing right there? Recognize, uh, Zombie Recognize didn't want to have to use the charge just yet, uh, to get the wall bounce, so instead used the unique action, which pushes into the second portal, allowing for the rest of the combo to continue. That's gonna give that's gonna give zombie the most max damage, and I mean, you know, I, I guess we'll see another situation of that <laughs> right here. Ooh, drop on the combo because of combo limit though. Nice. The and yeah, just lets it rip right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so a lot of people are, are prone to not pressing buttons as quickly as possible yeah. uh, after getting you know hit because mm -hmm. the opponent's usually plus, but not everybody's oh. looking for that, right? But oh, the <laughs> rush down connecting. Yeah. <laughs> Zombie looking strong. Zombie is a problem right now. Definitely the problem, for sure. So, I mean, you know, Zombie, I, you know, we, I, I saw in, in a local bracket, Zombie was playing Belial. In another online bracket prior to this was playing Belial. And then it hits, hits, hits the community league, recognizes what's at stake, and it's just like, no. Yeah. I'm not giving anyone any chances. That's right. You think this is what I'm bringing to the tournament? No. Nope. All, all business, no games. <laughs> okay, yeah, trying to use that EX record to be able to punish anything, but Zombie, you, you had mentioned the, the patience was was just so important in these matchups, and it continues to come to, into play. Mm -hmm. and there it is again, yeah, not getting caught by uh, fi uh, Far M uh, because of that patience, right? And here it is again, just sitting here blocking, because Zombie knows that those two portals are above. And if a loud press is the wrong thing, just gonna get caught by the two corners, right? Yeah. Into full conversion or into plus frame situation. And, well, I mean, we've seen what the corner pressure can be, so. <laughs> right, yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. Definitely a place you don't wanna be. Ooh, yeah, stayed away from the spike. That's really important. And yeah, got, got around the rock and the spike simultaneously, but the sweep is coming out from Zombie, goes for the safe jump. And just stays away from Gina. Recognizing that the life lead is is there, so Zombie doesn't need to do anything too crazy. Oh, oh man, man. So, yeah, you know, I, 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 it's almost like I can feel the frustration, you know, from loud here. Yeah, I, I, I can't lie to you. This is a very hard situation to deal with. Yeah, mm -hmm. if, uh, if, if you can't find your way to get around it, it's. Mm -hmm. It feels like Kadiglyosho just can't be stopped in that corner pressure situation. Uh, one thing that is very important to note, uh, that actually I think Jita kind of has a little bit of trouble with, uh, in, in particular. So that, that that is a demerit for this matchup in particular, is um, Kadiglyosho players like to walk back for a moment so that they can catch you trying to press a button, right? Yeah. And so one of the ways to deal with that bramble is by sweeping somebody who's walking back. They'll take care of the portals on the ground, uh. and they'll, they'll, you know, they'll get caught because they're standing up. Yeah. Uh, however, Jita's sweep is a bit shorter than a lot of characters, so that's that's where the demerit comes in, right? Is that she can't always catch you with the proper spacing. And I think that's why you see Zombie stand where he's standing when he does uh, particular setups. Right but just far enough yeah. away that it didn't activate. That's that's important for allowed because it means it wasn't instantaneous death. Just getting pushed to the corner by yeah, all of these projectiles. Is... You know, all that we can do at this point, what it looks like, is just do. You know... Oh, nice! That was something that helped out in winners finals before. So you're gonna get a lot of damage here. One more hit could even change the tide of everything after this. Is the pressure? Uh, oh, no, missed it again. No, That's was... so unfortunate. I was just about to say I would love to see a loud kind of mix it up. You know, instead of just constant pressure, go for the throw. But good thing I didn't say that because <laughs> then I would. Uh, look bad for giving some bad advice, but... Well, but, I mean, know. attempted it, uh, be, but the problem ended up being the spacing, right? Didn't run far enough forward to be able to get the throw, yeah. and... Zombie immediately capitalizing with the reaction on the whiff throw, straight into the Super Skybound art, finishing it off, and taking the tournament 3-0 in Grand Finals. It's, again, you know, I guess Zombie was there looking at the match, looking at Aloud, looking at Shubu, looking at all of the competition... Uh, with their arms crossed and folded, so, uh, smugly smart, laughing, saying, hmm, yep, that's right, saying, nope, I don't think anybody is strong enough. Nobody <laughs> is strong enough for me. <laughs> yeah, you get it. You are so, 10 years too early. <laughs> right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, um, you know, all the credits, all the props to Zombie, uh, you know, you, it, you called it straight from the start. You, you knew Zombie was a problem here. And, uh, yeah, your knowledge is, is far beyond, you know, the mere mortals, uh, such as myself. So I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate I'm you not gonna, I'm not going to say it's that ridiculous or anything, but I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, but, uh, 
yeah, thank you so much too for just uh, you know sh uh, breaking down everything. Uh, your knowledge is it's super super impressive. Um, and yeah, yeah, good calls and everything. Congrats to Zombie. Um, I think we can also show. Yeah, it just sounds cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I want to I talk about something else impressive, there which is, is the in-game skins That's that are right. prizes for <laughs> all the competitors in this league. That's right, you can sign up for mm -hmm. this league, and, you know, just being here, you are going to get one of these exclusive skins. That's and right. I, 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 again, exclusive skin. Mm -hmm. You're not getting this anywhere else. you got to sign up for this league. you got to play, and you will get one of these for your character of choice. You know what else? Uh, what I also like about that too is, you know, when you walk around with these custom skins, it says two things. It says one, I got this, and you can't. Like you can't get this. Well, <laughs> technically, everybody watching this can get this, but uh, you know, if you don't have it, you're not going to be able to get it again. But also, it puts a little bullseye on your back when you're playing against people, and they see these skins <laughs> and like, oh, I get it. I know what you're about. Let me see if I can beat you. So then you uh, might yeah. risk, you know, people talking trash about you after they beat you if you wear this. So if you wear these skins, wear them with pride and make sure that you dominate everybody you play against. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> hey, look, I'm just going to say, this event was not the only time you can get this skin. You want to know right. why, Mike? That what is, is that? Because there is more Community League events coming up. Beautiful. <laughs> That's very well done. That's right. So uh, the next qualifier that will be coming up, and uh, be, you know, my face still frozen. The next qualifier is coming up. Is going to be the uh, North American East, the first one for the North American East tournament. The registration for that opens up September third. So if you are watching this, you're watching Zombie, you're watching Shuabu, you're watching Aloud, you're watching Duets play and Duex. you're like you know what you know what i think you know all these players you know their skills are probably mediocre at best i have a chance at beating everybody well you know now you can put your money where your mouth is september 3rd make sure you sign up and enter in that tournament the tournament will begin on september 11th uh so registration will be opening up again on september 3rd Make sure y'all sign up, register, get a chance to get your exclusive in-game skin, and there is more prizing uh, to be had. So sign up. Oh, yeah, you guys want more information, please go to bit.ly slash league for more information on signing up and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, Evonic, yeah. yeah, Evonic Plague, I just want to say, too, you know, thank you again. This is, uh, you know, I've, I've watched you for years. It's been a pleasure to be able to commentate with you. Uh, more or less to have you commentate while I'm learning here, taking notes, because, again, like, you're, you're helping the likes of me. And, you know, I'm just going to assume there might be other players out there um, or viewers like myself who don't have the extensive knowledge of, of, of the game as you do. So just it's just an honor having you be able to share that with us. It is an honor to talk about a game I love in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus and to just try to get anybody and everybody into the game, right? Uh, right. So, I mean, regardless of what, you know, you want to say about me, uh, whether whether it's good or bad, right? Like, <laughs> I, I love to do it. Uh, and so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here and, you know, to be with the legend Mike Ross, oh, uh, to be at Miguel. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. This has been this has been awesome, and uh, I can't wait to do uh, more with you. Um, so, everybody, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Bionic Plague. Um, thank you, everybody. This was awesome, and we will see y'all next time. <laughs>